Hey guys, and today we're going to be talking about a master plan dieta that you can do in the comfort of your own home. And I'll be sharing with you a specific master plan dieta, as well as a link below about how you can access it and purchase it yourself and some great things to set yourself up for this experience. So just want to start off with a little bit of a backstory here. So in 2021, <laughs> I was just trying to think of the timeline there. I went to Peru and completed a two month dieta in the jungles of, of Peru in the Amazon. And it was quite the experience. There was a lot going on. I did uh, two different dietas while I was there. I did Noya Rao the first month and the second month I dieted with Boban Sana. And at the time, um, it was really all new to me. There was the experiences to take in of being in a new country, of being around a bunch of different people, drinking ayahuasca three nights a week for eight, for eight weeks. And um, it was actually an ayahuasca initiation course and it was quite extensive. Um, it was a lot, essentially. And um, I know that everyone won't have the opportunity to go to Peru and complete an extensive dieta. And, um, I didn't want that to be a, a barrier for people. I want, as I think as plant medicine consciousness gets integrated into the Western world, we're all becoming more educated and everyone wants a way to do things in the comfort of their own home. And I actually think doing things in the comfort of our own home can actually be as powerful as going to the jungles of Peru, as long as we set up a powerful container for ourselves. So let's start off with that. So a lot of what I've talked about in my videos is the healing diet and setting intentions and all of that. So doing a master plan diet at home also includes these things. So we want to incorporate a very bland, simple diet. And I would start with seven days. Seven days is a great way to ease yourself into the experience, get enough data. And then when you're ready, you can come back and make a more extended dieta plan. So you want to eat simple foods, bland and you know no cheeses no dairy no processed foods all of those will be waiting for you after you complete your dieta so rice veggies um, if you're a meat eater you can eat you know white fishes something really light and all of this is so you can be more in contact with the plant ally think about it this way if you are dating somebody and you're highly distracted by multiple other things you can't really give your full attention to it and or like with anything else not just dating but um i say that because plant allies are very much like a relationship we're wanting to create space inside for them we're wanting to really come into full presence into this connection so we want to eliminate any sort of distractions so along with diet we're also setting aside any other distractions decreasing our phone time decreasing time where um you know to stressors to external projects and we're bringing most of our focus in these seven days to this at-home master plan diet. And you really want to set yourself up for a, like a morning routine and an evening routine with journaling, with meditation, so you can have time to come into conversation and really attune yourself to the internal conversation with the plant ally. Um, also breath work and the journaling is great so you can really keep track of your insights and the things that are coming through for you um, and all of that good stuff. So let's talk about setting intentions for a second. So I'm just about to embark on a master plan diet at home with Boban Sauna, which I'll talk about here in a second. And I'm setting my intention to come into more self-love. Boban Sauna is known for cultivating more self-love. It also helps us tap into grief. Um, it also is a great anti-inflammatory. It taps us into our inner wisdom and self-healing process. And my intentions are just to open my heart and to receive insights that I just don't have access to in my everyday reality. So really the intention is for me to, to listen, to listen and be open and receptive. There's not anything I actually want to heal necessarily, but I'm just wanting to listen for clarity for certain things that are coming up in my life for the next uh, choices that I want to make. And the next, the next season, uh, seasons of my life, I turned 35 in February and I'm feeling a little lost. I'm feeling like, um, like kind of like this, like which direction am I being guided to you? And I really want the Bowman Sauna to help me, um, give me clarity on what those next steps are. So I'm leaving it a little open as a way to open up that conversation and to be a deep listener. So you want to set your intentions, set up your diet, set up your practices. I really encourage you to set up a sacred space for yourself that you can come to every day. I have a space in my other room where I meditate every day and I journal and I practice and um, I have my Boban Sauna and my altar and all my tools are going to support me throughout my process. My Palo Santo, my sage to cleanse myself before I take in the Boban Sauna. Um, 
And so you don't have to necessarily diet with Bob and Sona. I am sharing this because it's from a company that I really trust and um, it's very accessible and it's very potent. When I dieted Bob and Sona in the jungle, it was um, very, I guess you could say watered down, so to speak, but the tincture that the Soul Vine provides is very, very, I have to say this is very potent. Um, I felt like uh, I just opened up the diet this morning and it it was a softer i don't plan on officially starting until tomorrow but it was just kind of a, a space of attunement today to just kind of come into it and to feel into the energies of it and just to you know softly begin to open up that portal but um i do plan on going from sunday morning till the following sunday um morning as well and planning on to journal every day practice meditation practicing a focusing on what Bob and Sana is trying to share with me and trying to tell me. And so that means I have to come with my ears and listening and a very open heart. You know, the, the wisdom in the indigenous traditions of dieting with plants, although, you know, working with herbs and other plants can be seen in other cultures and other practices, I mainly learned about this through the Shipibo context. Um, but just know that different cultures practice this. Ingesting um, other sacred plants has been something that has happened for many, many, many years. And a way to think about it is we're ingesting these plants in order to create a relationship with another ally so we know we're not alone and I, I feel like the cultivation of the relationship is really important as it is with anything i talk a lot about you know how the the experience with ayahuasca is to be seen as a relationship with a plant we are the student she's the teacher and we have sovereignty and choice when it comes to the many things she's teaching us so kind of the same thing with master plant dietas they're more subtle in their teachings, but that will require us to lean in more, listen more, pay attention, all of these things. So, so I just kind of want to show you the bottle here. So it comes in this beautiful bottle and I'm going to open it for you just so you can see just how, look how dark this is. This is amazing. And it's this like beautiful auburn, like, oh my God, it's so amazing. And I was so surprised when I received this. Because like I said, when I dieted, even with the tribes in the Amazon, it was way lighter. And my suspicion is because they probably manufactured this in a way um, that just allowed them to extract more. And I'm actually not too sure about the process. Um, but it comes from an amazing company made by an amazing woman who I'm really good friends with. So I'll leave the link for that uh, below. So what you want to do is you want to set everything up, set your intentions, plan everything for your for your food and everything like that. And then you would definitely want to pray and go into meditation before ingesting. So the once you order it, it comes with ta-da! It comes with instructions. So it tells you exactly what to do, exactly what it helps with. Self-love, grief, even tells like some medical things that it helps with. Um, I had no idea, by the way, when I was in the jungle, they didn't talk about the um, anti-inflammatory effects of it. Which I'm really looking forward to. I really feel like I could use some of that support in my my life right now. Uh, and it also helps with increasing energy levels, creativity, self-expression, all of these beautiful, beautiful things. And if you have any further questions, you can look on their website and you can even email them if you have further questions. So Bob and Sauna is amazing. And this is a great opportunity to kind of like take something that maybe you've heard about. Um, and also know that you can diet any plant that you wish. You can diet sage, rose, lavender. Rose and Lavender are other ones that I've been wanting to diet. Um, but this will kind of be my first at-home dieta. And I'm really pulling from the experiences I had in Peru. But just know that you don't you don't have to or you have you don't need to have gone to Peru in order to to cultivate this at home. You can do it in the comfort of your home. Um, and like I said, you have the support of the soul vine and myself to take yourself through this experience. The really the only thing that's required from you is to really show up and be committed to the process. So please post your questions, your comments below. And if you liked this video, hit the like, bucket, the like button and be sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date with future videos that I release. I release several of them throughout the week. Check out all the links below as well to see all the other things I'm doing. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.